We're going to go through some examples on the order of operations, sixth graders. And this is part of the worksheet where we're going to work on your skills in solving these questions. And I gave you a worksheet. Um, so we're going to practice filling in the blanks and making sure that you understand how to bring down the things that are left after solving them in the right order. Okay? So take a look at the first one. 4 squared plus 3 to the third minus 7 in parentheses. So we have to start in parentheses. <coughs> and under that, I have two boxes. <coughs> what should go in those boxes? Zoe? Um, I have a question. Why, why is there a number 3? Oh, because I took this off the worksheet and I decided to skip number 3 because I wanted to go to number 4. So that way it's the same numbers as on the worksheet. Okay. But can you can you solve this part? So inside parentheses, we have to use the order of operations, don't we? And the first number is, or the first part is parentheses and then exponents. So we have to simplify exponents or powers. And three to the third power means what, class? Three times. Three times three. So that equals what? Twenty-seven. Three times three is nine. Times three is twenty-seven. So that should be the first box you fill in. Twenty-seven. Then there's another box here. We're not looking for the answer to twenty-seven minus seven. We have to bring down the seven. Okay. So bring down the 7. That should go in this, the other box. Then there's the plus sign. And then we can simplify 4 squared because that's one of the powers. And there's nothing else to do outside the parentheses. So what's 4 squared, class? 16. 16. So we can simplify that. Then. This is in parentheses, so we have to do this first. Otherwise, we do them in order from left to right. So, what goes under the parentheses? What goes under the parentheses? Emily? 20. And then add 16. And the answer is? So we simplified it to 36. Okay? That's what you'll have to have in each box. Liz. Oh, but the exponent tells us how many times to multiply the base times itself. The big number times itself. See, 3 times 3 times 3 because it's the base. Okay. Number 2. 5 squared minus 2 to the 3rd times 10 to the 0 plus 8 to the 1st. So we have to simplify all of the powers first, because there are no parentheses, right? So go ahead and do that. First row of boxes. Yeah. Wait. No. Two to the third power is eight, isn't it? It's not six. It's two times two, which is four, times two, which is eight. Five times five is twenty-five. <laughs> Any number to the zero power is one. 
That's one of the rules you learned yesterday. And 8 to the first power is 8. Liz? Why would 5 to the second power be 25? 5 times 5 is Let's go on to the next part. We can't do these in order from left to right because multiplication <coughs> is in step three. That comes before subtraction and addition. So we have to simplify this first. Eight times one is eight. Then we have to bring down what's left. So this stays 25 minus 8365. Then we do this in order from left to right. 25 minus 8 is 17 plus 8. We have to bring down this 8. And 25. So that's how you fill in the, the rows correctly. Any questions on this one? You see how we're simplifying it from left to right and top to bottom? We're going to do the same thing, but now we're going to have to make some decisions about what to bring down and what to leave. In number four, I drew a series of rows for you instead of boxes. And you have to complete each line correctly. And that's what you'll do when you take a quiz on this. Okay? You'll have to complete each line correctly. So let's start with this one. 30 minus 15 divided by 5 minus 4 times 6. On the first row, what can we start with? Ariana? Right, we have to start with multi multiplication division, step three. We've already looked for parentheses, there's no parentheses. Then we look for powers, there's no powers. So we go to division and multiplication. In order from left to right. The first subtraction, 30 minus 3, and then bring down the other one, and then you can write the answer. You can't do, don't do these all at once. questions on these rows. We showed every step here. Jen? On number five, we're going to go to number five next. Liz? You'll have to uh, go back and review the video before, since you missed yesterday, Liz, it's not going to make as much sense until you watch that video once or twice. Roy? Are you just like, oh, you the ones on the line? Because the boxes aren't going to be there. The boxes are a tool to help you figure out where to put the numbers. But the boxes aren't going to be there when we're doing these on a test or a quiz. They're just a learning tool. So, let's go on to number five. In parentheses, four squared 
plus 2 to the third power to the second power. Okay? And then divide that by 4 times 2 to the fourth power. Now, on the first line, we have to go in the parentheses and simplify. So, I'll start with the powers. Fill in the powers first. We can't do the 4 times 2 yet because there's a power here. And especially on this one because we have to do something to that number inside the parentheses. So that's the first line. Does everybody see where those numbers came from? 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Times two. We have to bring down the 4. We have to bring down the divide sign. 2 to the third power is 2 times 2 times 2. That's 8. We have to bring down the plus sign. 4 times 4 is 16. Now we're ready to move on. We have to simplify this next. So on this line, we again have to keep the parentheses because we're going to need to square this number inside the parentheses. What's 16 plus 8? 24. 24. Divided by, and we can simplify this in parentheses. You might have to do. Do the math. Okay. Do that on the side if you're doing that calculation. Ethan? Yeah, now we are going to square this number. We have to square this number because the squared sign outside the parentheses means that we have to square or we have to multiply this number by itself. Okay? We have to square what's inside the parentheses. We have to multiply it by itself. So, again, you probably have to do that calculation on the side. Go ahead and do that. We have to do 24 times 24 because 24 squared means 24 times 24. So do that calculation on the side. You have a question? Yeah. Are we using our calculators or? No, nope, this calculator, Roy. Let's put the other one away. This one is more powerful anyway. Daria, put your calculator away. You don't need that. You're going to need to show your work anyway. So put your calculators away. When you have this answer, then you can look up here.
And then we're going to have to do some division. No question? No, I didn't ask for the answer. I didn't ask for the answer yet. You'll see. Jen, you don't need that. You don't need a calculator. You're going to use your brain. Okay? Now, on the side again, let's do the calculation. We got this one done. So we need to do 576 divided by 64. Now, 64 doesn't go into 57, so we have to put it into 576. And if you think 64 times 10 is 640, that's kind of close to 576. So let's try, well since 10 is bigger, 640 is bigger, let's try one less and try 9. 9 times 4 is 36. And 9 times 6 is 54. Plus 3 is 57. Okay. So again, using estimation, when we think 600, or 64 times 10 is 640, and 640 is pretty close to 576. But it's bigger, so we have to go one less. And try it. Okay, if you get a remainder that is bigger than 64, then you know that 64 can go in another time. All right? <coughs> So, our answer is 9. Circle that. Any questions on that one? You're going to complete 6 through 9 for homework. Follow the order of operations. Practice your skills without your calculator. And we're going to go through these tomorrow. Okay? These are going to be graded. I want to see what you know. Okay? You're going to be graded on each line. Each line needs to be correct. So make sure that you don't skip any steps.